Thank you so much, Ryan. Good morning to the Board of Commissioners and the citizens of Douglas County. We will call this March 1st, 2022 uh, Tuesday meeting to order. It is now 10 a.m. or 10.01 a.m. Uh, certainly this morning, Board of Commissioners, I will start over again with the roll call. District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Commissioner Mitchell. I see him on the camera. District 2 and Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson. Present. District uh, 4 Commissioner Ann Jones Guider. Present. And our District 3 Commissioner is not here today. She's um, not going to, she's not here today. And then, of course, Chairman present. Commissioner Mitchell. Okay. Board Commissioners, we do have a quorum with three. But um, can you verify for me, Communications Directive, uh, Commissioner Mitchell is online. I see his photograph. Graham Risen, Madam Chair, I know that he was having difficulties a little earlier, so he tried to log in from his phone instead of his computer. So he's probably still having an issue. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Legislative aid. Thank you, Shirelle. All right, Board of Commissioners, we do have a quorum, so I will move forward. Uh, three three uh, commissioners uh, is a quorum. Board of Commissioners this morning, certainly we have from or, uh, with us this morning, Ms. Uh, it's an elder, Lolita Owens from Daystar Tabernacle here to Grace yes. County with prayer and good morning. Good morning. And then Board of Commissioners, after Elder uh, Owens uh, provide the invocation, certainly we will move right into our Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, you have the floor this morning, uh, Elder Owens, and thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this meeting on this morning, God. I pray, Lord God, that as they come together in unity, Father God, that they would work together to find the solutions that may be difficult, Lord God. We ask that you would just guide them and that they would speak respectfully with humility to one another, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that the meeting will go well, Lord God. I pray for that you would give them patience and endurance with one another, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you, they will govern with wisdom, Father God, for the common good of the county and the city, Lord God. Give them patience and endurance in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray that you would give them foresight to make wise and knowledgeable decisions, Lord God, and let their minds be open to what one another have to say, God. I pray, Father God, that Douglas County and the city would be a prosperous and a peaceful place place to live and to work, Lord God. I pray for their staff, Lord God, and their families, Lord God. Let their families be patient with them while they're away, Father God, and having to meet and make decisions on, on behalf of Douglas County, Lord God. I just pray that you would be with them, Lord God, in everything they do. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, that you would protect them in their going in and coming out. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come near their dwelling, God. And we thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Elder Owens, this morning for such a powerful prayer. Uh, prayer is uh, good for the soul, and thank you so much for gracing this county this morning. Uh, Board of Commissioners, with that being said, we will go straight into our Pledge of Allegiance and the citizens of Douglas County and our staff. If you could just join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I would, it would be greatly appreciated. I pledge allegiance Agents. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you so much, Board of Commissioners and our citizens of Douglas County. Um, Clerk Watson, do we have anyone sign up for a public comment this morning? Would anyone sign up? Good morning, Chairman. We didn't have anyone sign up exactly for public comment, but we do have Chief Tracy Whaley on the line. Um, from the Douglas County School System Police, and she would like to just briefly address the board, if that's okay. <laughs> okay, good morning. It's a he, and good morning. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, good morning, uh, Police good morning. Chief. Good morning, how are you? Uh, Tracy Wantley. Uh, we're so glad that you're here um, and to speak to the Board of Commissioners, and certainly you have the floor, uh, and you may proceed. Good morning. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here on behalf of the school district. I just wanted to take an take the chance to say thank you to the Board of Commissioners and to the entire staff of Douglas County. Uh, as you know, the, the governor of Georgia, uh, 
created a grant and a law enforcement bonus. And uh, based on how the grant was written, uh, the school district, we had the police officers working for the school district, we had to request for the county to uh, apply for that grant on our behalf. And I uh, appreciate all of the work that was put into that and appreciate the consideration from, from this board uh, allowing that to happen and allowing us to receive that grant through the work that you've put in. So I just wanted to say thank you very much on behalf of the entire school district. And I appreciate and thank you for your partnership. Thank you as well, uh, Police Chief Whaley. We really appreciate you. And we really appreciate all the, the protection that you and your staff provide for the students uh, here in Douglas County. So thank you for your work as well. Thank you. And the, and the Douglas County School System and the entire Trent North and all the entire board. So thank you all. Thank you. Okay. All right. Clerk, anyone else sign up to speak this morning? No, ma'am. We did not have anyone else sign in. Um, however, okay. if there are any citizens on the line that would like to speak on something that is germane to the agenda, if you could let us know now. Being none, Chairman, I turn it back over to you. Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you. We're going to move in. Let me check again. I just want to make sure. Did Commissioner Mitchell ever come on? Yes. yes. Oh, there. Hey, how are you doing, Commissioner? All, all is well. I somehow dropped off and had to reboot and get back on, but I'm here. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So, Clerk, please note his presence. Uh, Board of Commissioners, we will move right into the approval of our minutes. Uh, Board of Commissioners, you have before you the commission meeting minutes of February 15, 2022, the work session minutes of February 14, 2022, special called meeting minutes of February 15, 2022, and the executive session minutes of February 14th and 15, 2022. Do we have, um, do you approve, deny uh, these meetings? Approved. Approved. Okay. If the meeting, the minute meetings are approved, please, then the minutes stand approved. And I, you know what? I kind of rambled you that up. Madam morning. Chair. I you thought do. I lost my, I lost my text this morning, y'all. <laughs> I, 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 let me ask that again. If there are any addition, corrections, or deletions that need to be made? No, ma'am. If none, the minutes stand approved. And I use it. I don't have a script. My, I just had a senior moment. I have a birthday coming up in nine days, so forgive me. All right, we're going to move to proclamations. Board of Commissioners, we have two proclamations this morning. Tab number five, proclaiming the month of March as Arts, Culture, and Humanities Month in Douglas County. We have our own uh, Executive Director, Emily Leitner, Leitner, here to read that proclamation, and then we will vote according to Board of Commissioners. You have the floor this morning, Mrs. Leitner, and good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me here today, Douglas County Board of Commissioners and Douglas County citizens. It's my honor to read the Proclamation for Arts, Culture, and Humanities Month. Whereas the Board of Commissioners are committed to promoting the arts, culture, and humanities in the Douglas County community, and whereas the arts, culture, and humanities embody much of the accumulated wisdom, intellect, and imagination of humankind, and whereas the arts, culture, and humanities enhance and enrich the lives of every American, Whereas the arts, culture, and humanities play a unique role in the lives of our families, our communities, and our country. And whereas the nonprofit arts industry also strengthens our national economy by generating $166.3 billion in total economic activity annually, $27.54 billion in government revenue, and by supporting the full-time equivalent of 4.6 million jobs. And whereas the creative economy drives tourism and commerce, supports American workers and makes up 4.2% of the annual GDP. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Douglas County Board of Commissioners do hereby proclaim March as Arts, Cultures, and Humanities Month in Douglas County and call upon our citizens to help celebrate and promote the arts, culture, and humanities in our community, and to specifically encourage the greater participation of those said citizens in taking action for the arts, culture, and humanities in their community. So proclaim this first day of March, 2022. All right, thank you so much, um, Mrs. Lightner, this morning for reading the proclamation. And certainly you had some great, uh, some phenomenal 
uh, statistics out there, 4.2% uh, um, related to the gross uh, domestic product and $166 billion a year, that is nothing to sneeze at. So thank you for the uh, significant contribution that you bring here in Douglas County in terms of arts and culture. Uh, I always refer to arts as, and I did post at one point uh, on my Facebook page, Art is easy like Sunday morning, but it's more than that. It's creativity allows you to have a sense of freedom. And then that culture, of course, has you have shown more in more ways than one that you are definitely embracing uh, diversity, inclusion, and that's important for our citizens here in Douglas County. Board of Commissioners, you have heard the proclamation. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion, board? We have a motion and a second. Please, friend, uh, please prepare to cast your votes. And clerk, my vote is affirmative. Uh, domestic product in 166 million dollars. Oh, Phyllis, Phyllis, thank you. Phyllis, you need to mute your mic. Phyllis Banks, our communications okay, operations manager. There you go. Mute your mic. There you go. Clerk, do we have a response yet with our vote? Commissioner Robinson, did you need me yes. to ask yeah. your vote? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Rush. Chairman, motion carries 4-0. Okay, we have a 4 unanimous vote in the motion carry. So congratulations and thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Lightman, for what you do and your major contribution, uh, significant contribution here in Douglas County regarding arts, cultures, and humanity, culture and heart, humanity. So thank you. All right, Board of Commissioners, we're going to move to tab number six, proclaiming the month of March as Women's History Month in Douglas County. Uh, this proclamation will be read by... Um, Mrs. Nia Brown this morning. Good morning, Mrs. Brown, and thank you for being here this morning to read the proclamation. You have the floor. It is my pleasure, Madam Chairman, commissioners, and all assembled. Good morning, as stated, I am Nia Brown, Douglas County resident and local business honor owner. It is with pleasure that I read today's proclamation for Women's History Month. Whereas American women of every race, class, and ethnic background have made historic contributions to the growth and strength of our nation in countless recorded and unrecorded ways. And whereas American women have played and continue to play critical economic, cultural, and social roles in every sphere of the life of the nation by constituting a significant portion of the labor force working inside and outside of the home, and whereas American women have played a unique role throughout the history of the nation by providing the majority of the volunteer labor force of the nation, and whereas American women were particularly important in the establishment of early charitable, philanthropic, and cultural institutions in our nation, and whereas American women of every race, class, and ethnic background served as early leaders in the forefront of every major progressive social change movement, and whereas American women have served our country courageously in the military, and whereas American women have been leaders, not only in securing their own rights of suffrage and equal opportunity, but also in the abolitionist movement, the emancipation movement, the industrial labor movement, the civil rights movement, and other movements, especially the peace movement, which create a more fair and just society for all. And whereas despite these contributions, the role of American women in history has been consistently overlooked and undervalued in the literature, teaching and study of American history. Now therefore be it resolved by the Douglas County Board of Commissioners that March is designated as Women's History Month in Douglas County and join with all citizens in recognizing the many contributions of women to the United States and to Douglas County. So proclaimed this first day of March, 2022. 
Thank you so much, Mrs. Brown, for taking the opportunity, first of all, to come here and to read, uh, to um, be available this morning to read this proclamation. Uh, certainly, you have expressed uh, the truth this morning. American women have uh, countless contributions in the nation. They're the backbone of uh, the great men that uh, join us as we move uh, the nation forward. And we appreciate you being here this morning. And the proclamation stated some uh, true facts. I, I love all the facts in there because uh, I just think about my grandmother and those who con came before me and the shoulders that we stand on, those women that we stand on that have labored intensively to allow us to have this moment as women in society to be leaders as we did come through that women suffrage uh, period. So thank you so much. Board of Commissioners, you have heard the proclamation. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion board? We have a motion and a second. Uh, please prepare to cast your votes. Clerk, affirmative. Affirmative. Chairman, motion carries 4 0. Okay, we have a 4 0 unanimous vote, and the motion carries. And thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Brown, for coming in and uh, certainly uh, embracing us this morning and sharing and, and, and just expressing how great women are to society and how important we are. So thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. We began to celebrate Women's uh, History Month for the entire month of March. Thank you. All right. Board of Commissioners, we're going to move on to our new business item. We have tab number seven, appointment of Davin Abel and Don Geiger and reappointment of Tr Terrence Eady to the Douglas County Travel and Tourism uh, Board, effective March 3rd, 2022. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion, board? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes. Clerk, my vote is affirmative. Affirmative. Chairman, motion carries 4 0. Okay. Board of Commissioners, we have a 4 0 unanimous vote, and the motion carries. Board of Commissioners, we have five business items this morning. I'll we'll start with tab number eight. Authorization to award the Douglas County Community Grant Award to the Douglas County Chamber in the amount of $75,000 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to the preparation of an MOU specifying the public benefit and subject to final legal review. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion board? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Commissioner Robinson. But do we pass all the Board of Commissioners? I'm just asking Julie, ma'am, do we all receive um, adequate information regarding pretty all of these? But for the most part, I'll start with this one since this is the topic. Yes, we had adequate uh, information for the chamber initially. So the only one that was missing was the one, uh, the information that Dr. Uh, Allen sent yesterday evening, and she did uh, send all that information to all the board. Yes. Okay. So that was the only yes, one, the one that you, the information you received yesterday was the only one that was incomplete. All right. No problem, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Um, please prepare to cast your votes. Lisa, my vote is affirmative. Commissioner Mitchell, are you still on the line? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Were you able to vote? I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Okay.
Chairman, motion carries four. We have four unanimous vote and the motion carries. We're gonna move on to tab number nine. Authorization to award the Douglas County Community Grant Award to the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville, Douglas County in the amount of $57,000 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to the preparation of an MOU specifying the public benefit and subject to final legal review. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion board? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes. Clerk, yeah. my vote is affirmative. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Chairman, motion carries 4-0. Okay, thank you. Board of Commissions, we're moving on to tab number 10. Authorization to award the Douglas County Community Grant Award to the Douglas County Development Authority in the amount of $25,000 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to the preparation of an MOU specifying the public benefit and subject to final legal review. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes. Yeah, affirmative. Clerk, my vote is affirmative as well. Chairman, motion carries 3-1. Okay, thank you. Board of Commissioners, tab number 11, authorization to award the Douglas County Community Grant Award to the Douglas County Museum in History and Art in the amount of $75,000 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to the preparation of an MOU specifying the public benefit and subject to final legal review. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second in discussion board. We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast two votes. Clerk affirmative. Chairman, motion carries 3-1. Okay, thank you. All right, and we have, last but not least, is tab number 12, authorization to award the Douglas County Museum of History and Art with $25,000 for consulting services and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Do we have a motion to approve? So move. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. We have a any discussion board? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> Again, we'll, we're at a vote point at this point uh, regarding our museum. Um, for the record, I did vote for this item as a budgeted item, which is supposed to be tasked with a study to look at how we can make our, as I called it, do better in our museum. I'm consistent with my words. Do better. I could not support the prior vote because I'm like, well, what is the plan going forward? Right? So do the study first figure out where we're going to go, and then hire the person behind that to fulfill it. Unless the goal is whoever we give this $75,000 is going to fulfill this study, which I don't. So I'd like to make a condition that we find that the person that does the study is not someone that is inside the museum. It has to be independent third party. 
And so um, we, we didn't put a condition on there. We just had a study where I, we appropriated $25,000. But since we're subject to all these MOUs and so forth, we're going to leave it just at that. I have nothing against our museum. I have nothing against an inclusive history that reflects all citizens that um, have contributed to its evolution over time. Uh, but I wanted to be representative of the standard that we all believe in. And it's okay, you, you, the museum evolved to where it is today. That's fine. You took it as far as you can go. Now take it to another level. And sometimes that means change. Change of people, change of ideals, change of vision. But we just, don't get me wrong, I'm for the museum. We gotta do better than that. And so I, I'll leave it at that, I'm sure. Now you, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I just wanted to clarify for you, uh, Vice Chair, that it's just, uh, and this is one that I brought for the Board of Commissioners, is for $25,000 for consulting services. So definitely would not be anyone in-house as consulting services. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Well, Madam, Madam, Madam Chair. Uh-oh, well, Vice Chair, you had the floor first. Yeah, so just, okay. yeah well, just for the clarity, uh, a consultant, but again, a consultant to do what? It's to study the museum. Let's clarify what it is. They just to give somebody 75 and then get another person 25. They've oh, got to have a, a purpose for the appropriation. So yeah. okay. I have no, nothing against it because I supported budgeting this. I just want to clarify what we were talking about. We were talking about the same thing we were talking about for the building. I mean, this was that, that conjunctive vote. Oh, you want to get this done? Then this is for this. So I want to just clarify. So for the record, so Lisa doesn't even have to go back. We know what this is about, which is to study how we can uh, a, a better design, a better ideology yep, around the yep. museum. Yep, that's exactly. What <clears throat> Lisa Clark, did you grab that better design? That's what I want to do. Look for an enhancements design. Um, did you get it? better ideas, creativity, something to give it, to make it look more of a museum? You know, truly a museum. We need cabinetry. You need shelves. I won't go into detail. You need the, the glass cabinets things that make it really appear to be a, a true museum, okay? There we go. I yield the floor, Madam Chair. Okay, Commissioner Guida, you have the floor. Uh, yes, ma'am, I'd just like to shed a little light on the history of the museum. <laughs> um, most of them uh, are part-time, all of them are part-time employees. Uh, even some of them get as little as $10 an hour. They also, uh, the museum also serves as a welcome center for Douglas County. And where they used to get $100,000 from this board um, a couple of years ago, I think it was uh, District 3, wanted to defund them uh, from, uh, from our tax dollars. And so they've been operating on no funds for a couple of years now. Um, we would not have that building if it had not been for the people, some of the people that are still there, Suzanne Hudson, Virginia Pope, and I don't know if Joe Phillips is still there, but they got that building. It was uh, slated to be destroyed by the uh, county commissioners at that time, years ago in 1998. And so... Um, they formed a committee and they were the um, uh, tourism and, and, and preservation committee or something like that. They had a lot of meetings and they, they finally got that building on the national registry as a, a historical building. And so we have them to thank for what they've done. And so uh, it's hard to improve any department unless you have funds. And up until this, these funds today, I know for the past two years, they haven't gotten any funds. So um, we, we owe a lot to the people, but let's don't condemn them for not uh, bringing it up to date or whatever when they had no funds, only donations. So it, it's very important. Um, and all their funds were, was given to the tourism uh, board and um, to draw people to Douglas County where they, they were a draw. They are a draw, just as the Cultural Arts Center is. And so both of these need to, uh, we need to look at how we fund these. I think they ought to be put back into the budget 
and not just rely on a, a grant, a one-time grant. So uh, uh, with that, I, I will yield. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Commissioner Board. Board Madam Commissioner. Chair. Mm -hmm. Vice Chairman. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, you know, in, in defense of Commissioner Carson from the third edition, which is not here, please allow me to uh, provide cover for this. Um, we, we, we don't, I don't think there's a, a marginalization or invalidation of people's effort. But you got to hear both sides. The vote lies with the five of us. Period. When new people come on board, they get the cast vote that will go perhaps in the same way or a different direction. You have to roll with where leadership is going. It goes in a different direction. So it's like, no, the power is with the board when it comes to appropriations. You have the board what they're looking for, which is a better vision. It's not about the physical asset. Show me that you know where you're going. You got this big board of people. Nobody on there can write a business plan or something that we cast to the future. We appreciate the historical registry. That's great. I've been to the museum. So for my vote, like, no, mm -mm, I'm good. Just do better. I've been to museums all over the nation. And my point is like, no, we're, we're for it. Give us something to invest in. Give us something to back. And that comes down to a vision. That's all we're saying. And sometimes you do go in a different direction when it comes to appropriation to get people's attention. You're not entitled to salaries forever. The board is paying for the rent over there. It's, it's building. The board is paying for the lights. Right? So what? You got a free building with nothing? I mean, if the museum is that, well, do a major fundraiser. Right? Contribute. So what's not being said is that most of this money that goes there is paying for a single salary that may be spread over a couple people. The point is like, okay, well, give some cover. I'm fine with what, what it is. Give some cover. Y'all care that much? Since y'all, I'm going to say that part of the argument, okay, fine. Bring something to the table to get the other votes that's necessary to perhaps consider putting something back. But don't invalidate the fact that, well, we get it, but it's something about being free with your vote. You're not subject to go that way. It matters. It matters. And so I, I don't, you know, again, I would have, would have desired just to stand on your own position versus to somebody who's not here to defend themselves. So I just had to, for the record, give cover that. That's, that was, um, that, you know, you always want to be able to face the person while, when we're making our comments, but, but not slice. But we're good. I think we all want this to go forward. I think we all support the notion for this, not that. But I don't want to get into... Um, appropriation conversation like guys the point is just make it better but don't challenge a person's free to freely vote they don't have to do it all right now i yield thank you for commissioners we if there's no other discussion points we certainly will move on we have a motion and a second on the floor we have a motion and a second please prepare to cast your votes thank you affirmative affirmative Chairman, motion carries 4 0. Okay, we have a 4 0 unanimous uh, vote uh, for it, and the motion carries. Board of Commissioners, certainly we're going to move, we will move right into our consent agenda. Uh, please remember that all items are uh, subject to final legal review. Tab number 13 is approval of a contract with Gordian to complete site work for the Department of Driver Services facility in the amount of $1,774,660 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents pending final legal review. Tab number 14, approval of the contract renewal with Carbine C Live Universe for next generations 
uh, 911 public safety technology that improves situational awareness during emergency and non-emergency calls for service at an annual amount of $9,500, effective April 1st, 2022 through March 31st, 2023, and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents pending final, final legal review. Tab number 15, approval of an amended contract with Stanco and Associates for special projects, building consult consultation and uh, consulting services and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 16, approval of contract for consulting services with John Sweat to serve as the part-time supervisor for the new re-entry re program to be funded through the judicial ARPA grant funds and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 17, approval of the two full-time employee contracts for re-entry specialists in the amount of $42,000 plus benefits to be funded by the judicial ARPA funds and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 18, approval of an amended contract with Tim Pruitt to reflect a $7,000 supplement from the Bureau of Justice Assistant Drug Court Expansion Grant and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 19, approval of employee supplements for Karen Alexander in the amount of $5,280 and Teresa Gordy in the amount of $4,180 to be funded through the previously approved budget for the BGA, BJA uh, Drug Court Expansion Grant and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 20, approval of a supplemental agreement with GDOT for contract uh, time extension on the Maxim Road Congestion Mitigation Project P1001-2621 for project closeout and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 21, approval of deductive change order in the amount of $209,883.71 on the contract with Triscapes Incorporation for con construction of the I-20 landscaping project and allocating the funds for the ongoing maintenance of the I-20 landscaping and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 22, approval of a maintenance agreement with GDOT for a permit for the gateway sign at the I-20 and Thornton Road interchange, assuming responsibility for maintenance of the sign and the utility bills and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 23, Approval of a maintenance agreement with GDOT for a permit for the gateway sign at the I-20 and Liberty Road interchange, assuming responsibility for maintenance of the sign and utility bills and, and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 24, proposed annexation by the city of Douglasville for 3.14 acres at Slater Mill Road. Tab number 25, approval of the purchase of Granicus, a cloud-based software that tracks short-term rentals, rentals in the amount of $11,770.50 to be funded from the planning and zoning budget as recommended by the Purchasing and Oversight Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 26, authorization to accept state ARPA funds in the amount of $750,000 for a Douglas County water and sewer infrastructure project and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 27, authorization to enter into an MOU with the Douglas County School System for the Public Safety Officials and First Responders Supplement Grant and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents pending final legal review. Tab number 28, approval of the real estate purchase agreement and other documents pertaining to the Douglas County Development Authority transaction and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 29, approval of the first quarter projects for the ARPA Technology Fund. And tab number 30, which is last but not least, approval of an agreement with Media Miracles for media and communications production services in the amount of $100,500 and authorize the chairman to sign all related items subject to final legal review. Board of Commissioners, that concludes our consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve? Do we have a second? Second. 
We have a motion and a second. Any discussion, board? Yes, Madam Chair. Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. Yeah, no, no, no. Obviously, not trying to change the consent. Just want to acknowledge um, there's pretty long agenda yesterday, and we got through it. But one highlight um, it deals with um, on our Superior Court judicial side, and um, to see um, uh, Mr. Tim Pruitt come forth and advocate for himself. I see everybody feels emboldened now, and uh, but sometimes it's, it's how you ask. And the prayer that was just done this morning from um, the elder from Daystar is how you engage the board with certain, you know, I said humility, integrity, not entitlement. Yes, that is a judge over there, chief. But it showed a mutuality of respect. Like, okay. And I think at the end of the day, that's all the board is looking for sometimes. But when without uh, crying and all types of drama and you know, building on the narratives, just show your fruit, show your breadcrumbs. It's not what you're trying to accomplish, it's how. So I, I just, that, that just hit me in my spirit that I, I appreciate that interaction yesterday. Just, it went smooth. That's how you do it. Nevertheless, Madam Chair, I yield. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Any other remarks, board, before we, okay. Just one, Madam Chair. Okay. Commissioner Mitchell, you have it. Yes. Uh, James Worthington, if you would, uh, just one quick question or related. Okay. okay. Um, so the DDS piece that we've got going on, the, the I guess the fencing or whatever that was called that we kind of removed from the budget from my understanding, correct? Uh, it's a retaining wall that- Retaining we wall, yes. Yes, sir. So that was removed. And- It, it they, will be removed from construction, but it's still currently on the quote because uh, the timing. We just we just had the meeting to get that removed on Thursday. Right. Um, so there wasn't time to redraw the plans and get a new revi revised quote. But the quote is unit price, uh, meaning we can if we don't install portions of it or whatever, it'll come right off as a deductive change order. So we're expecting about a three hundred thousand dollar savings on that wall. Right. And, and my question though is. Are we putting something there outside of that retaining wall or is it uh, just natural vegetation or what's going to be that buffer there? Or, 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 it, or So there's a natural berm already along the I-24 um, and the, the ground is, is higher existing. It'll be sloping mm -hmm. down to the parking area or the paved area. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of just having a wall that drops straight off, it'll just feather on out, uh, continue to slope down with natural vegetation. And the paved area is enormous out there for training. Um, something to the tune of about 175 feet wide and nearly 500 feet long. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to just go down to, instead of being 175 feet wide, it'll go down to about 160 feet wide. And we'll just shift the curb line. Still meets all the minimum requirements. It's, it's actually additional space more than is necessary for the training. So DDS is on board as well. Yeah. Okay. And I, and I guess so. That that retaining wall versus natural vegetation will work. I guess. Correct. Okay. Okay. All righty. That's all I've got. I'll yield, Madam Chair. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Mitchell. All right. Well, commissioners, if there's no further discussion, we have a motion and a second on the floor. We have a motion and a second. Please uh, prepare to cast your votes. Clerk, my vote is affirmative. Affirmative. Chairman, <clears throat> motion carries 4-0. Okay, Board of Commissioners, we have a 4 0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. All right, we're going to move straight into our announcements. We certainly wanted to yield to our Board of Commissioners first to see if you had any announcements before I bring forth our uh, Director of Communications. Any announcements, Board of Commissioners, regarding events coming up in your particular districts? Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay. Commissioner Guider. Uh, Ephesus Baptist Church will have their drive through pantry uh, Wednesday. Uh, so, and everybody, um, 
that feels like they need help, please come. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other remarks for it? Yeah, Madam Chair. Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. Yeah, I just, uh, even though we did it yesterday during the work session, sometimes people don't plug in into the voting meeting. So again, I want to acknowledge your staff, um, your director, uh, Vanessa over again, um, animal and our animal control that had the event out in district two um, this past weekend, magnificent job um, for all the citizens. Um, we, they were there early and uh, we they were closing out and they had people um, left over that still wanted to get that. So I think as um, she rolls this program through the other commission districts, I think that's gonna be well welcome. Again, the vaccinations, the chipping, uh, and perhaps rabies for your all those paw rents out there, cats and dogs and stuff. So be on the lookout for a vaccination for pets uh, coming up soon in a district uh, in your respective district. I just wanted to acknowledge that, Madam Chair. Well done this weekend. Great job, Animal Control. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you so much, Vice Chair. Any other announcements, Board? Okay, with no further ado, um, Director of Communications, Rick Martin, you have the floor. Good morning, Madam Chair, Board of Commissioners. Uh, Deputy County Administrator Perry and staff. Uh, following up on what Vice Chair Robinson had mentioned, uh, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners is proud to partner with national nonprofit Petco Love to give pets their best shot for a healthy life by hosting a free pet vaccine, vaccine event on March 26th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is going to be specifically at the Douglas County Courthouse, 8700 Hospital Drive. That's on March 26th, and it's for the whole county. Keep Douglas County Beautiful is sponsoring a junk dump on Saturday, March 19th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also at the Douglas County Courthouse, acceptable items are anything you may consider trash, except for mattresses, concrete, paint, and tires. Uh, please have a trash, have trash in a garbage bag. And a Youth Art Month exhibit, we're returning to celebrate uh, art with our youth. Uh, youth Art Month exhibit uh, will be on display at the courthouse beginning Tuesday, March 2nd, and a reception to take place on Tuesday, March 8th from 4.30 to 6.30 on the third floor atrium of the Douglas County Courthouse. I yield back to you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you so much, Director Martin. My board of commissioners, I certainly appreciate uh, um, you and your time and your talent. And just it's just an honor to be amongst you uh, and also to be one of your colleagues. We have uh, covered an extraordinary amount of um, just topics. Just that, and this is the third month and we have covered so much. So I appreciate you all uh, investing in the business of the people of Douglas County. I will mention briefly that uh, CDC has uh, certainly put some new guidelines out regarding masks and that information I'm uh, working certainly with our judicial uh, side, which is our chief judge, and then also Dr. Me Marks. So we could uh, we, we will be bringing out some further directions on which way the uh, county government is going. But I'm, I'm working with our public health officials. So I just didn't want our citizens nor our, uh, our water commissioners or our uh, executive staff and uh, staff our employees to think that we're asleep on this. We're keeping our eyes on it uh, so far. Our numbers are coming down. Yesterday, our numbers for the pandemic in terms of per 100,000 was uh, 175,000. We were at 3,000 per 100,000. Now we're at 175 per 100,000. So we are moving in the right directions. We would like to see 100, anything under 100 per 100,000. So we're right there. But uh, certainly we not quite, but we almost there. So um, I'm not sure if it's the time to celebrate, but let's just keep our eye on the prize. And I believe that this, as we've mentioned along all the way, along the way that this too shall pass. Board of Commissioners, certainly um, we will uh, reconvene uh, because we will take a recess because we have a planning and zoning meeting tonight at 6, 6 p.m. And so at this point, if there's nothing else to come uh, at this time, we are in recess and uh, we, I will see you at 6 p.m. Thank you, Board of Commissioners and have, um, I'll see you at 6, 6 p.m. Don't have yeah. a good day. I'll see you at 6 p.m. Yes, ma'am.